Ooh, it is time once again. It is Tuesday, motherfuckers. Sense and Stanzas, volume number four. Stick around. What's cracking YouTube? I'm Brandon and this is Da Vinci's Alchemist. If you've been here before, welcome back. If this is your first time, thanks for coming to my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe when you're done watching this video, especially if you like what I got going on. So, uh, real quick breakdown. This is where I put together a nice little playlist of fragrance and music for the stuff that I wear during the week. Uh, put it on and I get a sense of some music or I hear music literally and that's what I do. I put those songs together with the fragrances and put them out for you guys. So let's just jump right into this. Wednesday, I uh, wore a nice little fragrance called Barawanda from Nazamato. It's literally a tiny little sample because I can't afford the full bottle. Someday. Someday. And I'm telling you what, this shit is delicious. We're talking whiskey, talking oak, kind of like the, you know, vanilla, orange. Basically, it's like if you've ever had the lucky fortune of being able to smell the inside of an empty bourbon barrel, that's what's going on here. It's got a little bit of like really super toned down florals, just slightly sweet. And it kind of gives you this, you know, badass club feel that, at least for me, when I put it on and Vogue popped into my head, my loving, never gonna get it. Mmm, hotness in that group right there. Badass song, especially with that intro. Really, really, really played well, like instantaneously put it on and it was just that, mmm, bop. I, that, that intro, it was just plain as day, bam, in my head. So that was on Wednesday, good day, real good day. Thursday, woke up, reached for something that I haven't put on in a little bit. I got this small uh, 10 mil, Travel size uh, from Moth and Rabbit, and it's a fragrance called Blow Up. So this has got this real kind of funky, kind of cannabis uh, vetiver sort of vibe going on. A little, uh, little bit of a spicy, kind of like a woody, musky sort of feel, uh, but it's really, really chill. Kind of puts me in this like chill sort of zone, this kind of funky chill zone, and it kind of put me back into some of my high school days when I was, you know, running with the wrong crowd a little bit, doing some things I should not have been doing. And uh, it's kind of a, like a bad boyish sort of feel. And so that caused this, uh, this old song from high school by Spice One called 187 Proof to kind of pop up into my head. I was feeling that song, so badass track, Moth and Rabbits. So on Friday I woke up and I recently acquired my very first Parfums de Marly and that is none other than Herod. So this shit is regal. This shit has got this sweet, spicy, resinous, tobacco sort of vibe going on. This shit is kingly, it is epic. We're talking, it is a banger for sure. And there is a piece by Carl Orff called Carmina Burana, and the opening is called O Fortuna, and that was just right there. Go check out my playlist that I have on Spotify for this. I'll link in the description down below, and I'm telling you what, you'll understand if you smelled this and you've never heard the song, or if you have heard the song and you've never smelled this, or neither of those, but trust me, the feeling that you get when that opens up, just that incredible chamber blast, that's what this is, man. Badass. So the flip side to that Friday, when I had Alma Herod, was that I had some food poisoning and I felt like shit. And I woke up on Saturday with a fever and I was still dealing with it. So I wanted something that was gonna give me a little bit of pep, something that was gonna kinda get me out of the funk. I mean, I wasn't leaving the house because I was just not having it. So I reached for Atelier and this is Pacific Lime. This is a nice little travel bottle as well. Doesn't cost you a ton of money, so that's nice. And if you got a huge collection like I do, having these smaller bottles is key because I know I'm never gonna go through them all. So this has like this salty kind of lime, almost uh, like a Malibu rum and tequila sort of cocktail vibe. I mean like super summery, super beachy, super chill, kind of relaxed. 
and it put me in a much better mood. And I put it on and Brian Adams, love you Canada, for Brian Adams, summer of 69. Any other musician from Canada sucks. Well, maybe aside from like snow. So that leads me to Sunday. Uh, I woke up Sunday, was feeling a lot better. No more, uh, no more stomach problems, no more fever, none of that shit. But I was kind of thinking about my grandpa again. So I went and put his dog tags from World War II on and I reached for Brute. Uh, That's one of his fragrances that he wore, you know, when I was growing up. And the thing about my grandpa is, you know, a lot of shit I learned about what it is to be a man. That chivalry, that work hard. Uh, you know, for what you want in life. Like, I got that from my grandpa. Um, I can remember watching him shave when I was a little kid with that straight razor and shit. And I, I really feel a lot of that connection with my grandfather. So, to me, he's always been one of my heroes. And I put it on and at first I thought I was just going through like a Footloose problem movie footloose kevin bacon so that song you know it's i need a hero that one it was dude yeah that popped into my head and it uh, put me in a good mood for the rest of my day on sunday so, which leads up to monday going into the work week yay so after having kind of like a, a really non-existent weekend i was i was going into monday with this idea that i wanted a little bit of uh a little bit of motivation but also some chill and so i reached for Maison Martin Margiela's replica under the lemon tree. So this thing's got this, you know, this real super bright lemon vibe. It's got some bright citruses going on. It's it's pretty, you know, linear for me, uh, and I really really like it. And it just, I think maybe partially because I was in the mood to go to work and get my week going and like be productive, but. Cash rules everything around me. Cream get the money. Dollar dollar bill, y'all. That was what was in my head on Monday, and uh, that you know that song for me stands a lot for just getting yours. And that was the vibe that I felt when I put this on. So that was Monday. Wu Tang. So here it is Tuesday. I get up this morning. I want something that's got like a confidence vibe, and this shit right here has got some major confidence in it, man. This is La Nuit de Lone from Yves Saint Laurent. Now, this is the Eau de Toilette version and I have been rocking this bad boy since, I don't know, over a decade ago? And I love this shit, man. This is really, really good. And you put this on, it gives you confidence. People notice you when you have this on and it's, uh, it's kind of a um, staple. It's definitely a fragrance that puts a certain step in your walk. It's kind of one of those, like, you walk in and you own the place. It's got this dark, sensual cardamom and spices and man i love this shit this is awesome so to pair off with that kind of swagger that confidence what went into my head was dance with the devil from breaking benjamin now when i felt that song it was so appropriate for this because it has this very soft kind of soulful opening here i stand Hapless and left for dead. But then it's like, just trust me, check it the fuck out. So check this one out if you haven't had a chance. You can get it on discounter websites for a really, really good price. And definitely check out Dance with the Devil by Breaking Benjamin. So there you have it. Week number four, volume four. Thank you guys for sticking around and watching this whole video. Thanks for putting up with my singing. Remember, I put this playlist on Spotify. It's in the link in the description down below. You can literally go on Spotify and check out that playlist. And if you like it, follow it, man. That'd be badass. <clears throat> Speaking of following, don't forget to uh, go ahead and click that subscribe button if you haven't done so already and hit the notification bell because next week, volume five, baby, definitely gonna go. Uh, I would love to hear from you guys, so why don't you go ahead and throw some comments at me. Tell me if you like what I'm doing here with these playlists. Tell me if it's stupid. I, I really do value everybody's opinion, uh, and I want to hear what's in your guys' head. We're rolling strong, moving along. I just need to get a bunch more people to subscribe to the channel, and I'm going to start doing giveaways. I'm really excited about that, but I want to make it really worth it, you know, like 100 subscribers at least. So, tell your friends, tell their friends' friends, tell their friends' sisters. Come check me out. 
And for no reason whatsoever, here's me playing some drums to make up for that goddamn singing. Thanks again, guys, and hope to see you next week. I uh, hope you guys have a great rest of your work week, and I hope that the fragrances that you put on can help bring a little music to your soul, too. Uh, don't forget, whatever it is you're doing, keep calm, stink pretty. See you around.